<laughs> okay, everyone, listen up. So um, <laughs> and we're just relaxing. Should we introduce? So, my name's Ashley. I'm Kayla. <laughs> I'm Grace. And we're from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Arkansas. We'll pick Suey. <laughs> so, it's our fall break, and we, meaning that we don't have school. Tuesday or <laughs> Monday or Tuesday of next week. Um, also didn't have school this Friday. And so we well, decided yeah. that we were going to drive to Denver from Fayetteville and stay with Kayla's brother um, and then our friends Shaylee and Jacob for a night and just be bop around Denver and hang out and have a nice, fun, relaxing Colorado fall break. Go get some new Mellies. Yeah, we're going to stop in Leadville. Go um, to Breckenridge just a little bit. Truly the dream of a weekend. Um <laughs> <laughs> what was <laughs> i'm kidding okay. um so we you know big plans leave at 6 a.m this morning go to chick-fil-a mm. first Ooh. like mm. off to an, an incredible start listening to really good music um got our worship on i got the first sleep so um of the trip so we're taking Still never shifts. got mine <laughs> <laughs> taking shifts so um me and Grace are on a hunt for a cowboy hat, so we're stopping at every possible gas station that could sell one. I mean, we're having a blast, truly. Mm-hmm. It's like... Listening to Park by Lake. Yeah, it <laughs> couldn't be... It could not have been a better road trip so far. Um, it's and better then, now, though. So we're about six hours. We are literally smack dab halfway between Fayetteville and Denver um, in this tiny town called Ellsworth, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Um, six hours from Fayetteville, That's six big. hours from Denver. It's maybe population Two. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Two times five, sorry. So, um, like, literally. there's a there, It's like a strip. Mm-hmm. And that's literally. It. Everything's in the same parking lot. <laughs> everything is within one parking lot. You can see um, everything from standing in one parking yeah. lot of one building. <laughs> so we're driving down the highway, um, and I'm, I'm driving. It's my shift to drive. Um, and then all of a sudden... We see that the um, engine light. the engine light comes on, and so we're like, "Oh, curious!" Turn off cruise control. I hit the brake, hit the gas, and the car just shuts off. <laughs> so we are now coasting on the highway. Um, so Grace goes full panic mode. Is literally just how I do. Is losing it. <laughs> Kayla is sitting. This in, is my in car, silence. By the way. Yeah, we're in Grace's in car. Um, and so I we <clears throat> coasted, calm and collected. Coasted on over to um, the side of the road. Literally, the shoulder. like, highway, like, car. Like, we were, it was yeah, kind of unsafe. We're, like, right on the shoulder. Um, and then, so Grace, we hop out of the car. Grace is panicking. And all of a sudden, before our eyes, um, the hood of the car starts smoking. And, and it smells like And it smells like, bar- a, like a fire. Like a straight bonfire. Who's making s'mores? Not us. <laughs> Not on this so, car. No. So then we... Um, Begin to panic a little more. Grace is yelling at me to pop the hood. I don't know how. <laughs> um, I can't get it. Um, we don't know what to do. I'm trying to get away from the car because I think it's about to blow up. Grace is running at without the car. Without telling, a- without <laughs> telling anyone else that it was going to blow up. I'm like, she face in yeah, hood. Grace is trying to ply the hood open because I couldn't do it for her. Um, car smoking. It's also dripping this weird brown oil. Like, we don't know. Grace is panicking. Kayla's, I just got this car like, yeah, this summer. New, so. new car for Grace. It's a, Oh, it's the cutest forerunner in the world. It's cute. Um, we slay. So we're panic mode. Um, not really sure what's happening. Not sure what to do. We are six hours from, <laughs> from everything. Any, anything that we nothing, wanted to be There's in. nothing yeah. near us because we were 15 minutes from Ellsworth. So yes. we were literally in the middle, like, farm, farm. It was, it was, yes, it was land of windmills. That's all we yeah. have. The land of windmills. <laughs> and cows. Oh, oh no! Oh, we're already at four minutes. Oh, that's all we had around <laughs> us. So we're kind of panicked. Um, Grace is like, does anyone ha- have anything, to, like anyone we can call? We like check everyone's locations. Obviously, there's no one around us. <laughs> I we're looked in the middle and I was like, nowhere. is there anybody near us? Because who would be in the middle of Kansas? <laughs> and so... Toto? <laughs> Dorothy? Dorothy? <laughs> oh, Wicked Witch of the West? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and so Kayla whips out her handy-dandy um, Allstate card. Mm. Um, we sit on the it phone. It ain't that handy. <laughs> we sit on the phone... Trying to call this all state people for about thirty minutes, and I would say at least forty five. And they are just absolutely no help at all whatsoever. Um, that could not be less of a help. 
Um, so we're trying to get a tow truck. Grace's dad's on the phone. He's trying to get us a tow truck. I'm we like still underneath like, the car trying yeah. to show him what's happening. Grace is like smelling this <laughs> also, mysterious brown liquid that is like, spewing out the bottom of the also, car. Also, on top of this, it's freezing. Oh yeah, it's out. freezing. Degrees. It's freezing. Freezing. Like degrees. so cold. Um, and so we don't know what to do. The car stops smoking. Praise God. Um, these weird, this weird man like pulls over and asks to help us. He was so sweet, but kind of weird. Um, I and so we're sitting in Grace's car, literally just like not knowing what to do. And so we just start praying and asking for the Lord to send down a miracle um, because we're just so lost. And out of nowhere comes this man named Wayne. <laughs> Wait, 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 Shoot, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> the man named Wade, um, who is a literal gift from the Lord. Um, he is a safety patrol. He might have been an angel. Yeah, he truly. Like, we don't know. We don't know. He, he's a safety patrol man. Highway patrol. Uh, highway patrol. <laughs> <laughs> um, highway patrol. In the hall. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> it's from SpongeBob. Safety patrol. Oh. Um, and also just. What's happening? I'm a grease ball. Um. He's to sit highway patrol, and he's like, "Hey, I'm just gonna sit behind you guys with these like big lights on, cause safety." And, and we're like, like, and that you. yeah, Grace was so worried about that. She thought we were gonna get killed by a car. Um, <laughs> so that was a big blessing. And then all of a sudden, long story short, we get a tow truck guy. We get s- shipped on over to this <laughs> <Get> FedEx, this <laughs> this little <laughs> to this little shop. Um, in Ellsworth. Owned by the name of Cliff <laughs> um, oh. in Ellsworth, Kansas, population 10. And um, we're like literally panicking, like not sure what to do. Grace's dad's on the phone with Cliff. Grace is talking to Cliff. And they Cliff, go to the Cliff, bathroom. Cliff. I'm, yeah, I'm just sitting on these little, it's like they lawn have chairs. lawn chairs <laughs> set out in the middle of in their the shop. Garage. Yeah, in the garage for like us to sit in also it's cold in the garage yeah it's just freezing everywhere and all of a sudden my cliff, stomach hurt because i had cheese <laughs> my stomach Freddy's. hurt because i was stressed <laughs> yeah cliff comes back out and tells us that um this is a more serious issue than i thought and that grace's water hose. water hose, ho- water hose pump hose um broke and that her car will not be done until midweek Monday. of next week and so we're panicking because now we're like, well, like we're not at this rate. We're not even going to get back to Fayetteville in time, <laughs> let alone are we getting to Colorado. We I might like, as well just I drop out of school. I literally look over at them and I'm like, hey, get the idea of Colorado out of your heads because we're stranded. That. She said that. Um, I said, mm, we're going to step it. at a time. We have no car. We have no place to live. Hardly have any money. We have no food. We're on foot <laughs> at this point. Just the clothes on our back. Yeah. <laughs> we literally are. Literally. We are literally... Yes, yes. But during all of this, there's this lady next to oh, us. And mm-hmm. it was super cool because we had just the most God-centered conversation and, like, we're both procla- proclaiming God's goodness the whole time. Yeah. And it was super cool because it was refreshing and she was a grandma, so it just was, like, the right comfort that we needed in that moment. For me, at least, I needed yeah. a grandma. She also could have been an angel. Yeah. We don't know. And it was <laughs> all just of these cool. people could have. I don't know. It was just cool because, like, throughout this whole process, we just continued to, like, be prayerful and, like trust the lord and Mm -hmm. there were so many moments where we were like literally just felt hopeless and we're confused on the situation and just like didn't understand and didn't trust the lord and why this is all happening and the lord is literally just shaking us by our shoulders and being like hey why are you not trusting me Mm -hmm. like why are you not surrendering this to me why are you not trusting me and cliff comes back out and he's like hey listen and so we're like What's up, Cliff? Like, did you get what us a rental could car? You tell us? Like, did you get us a rental car? Did you? Get oh, the it? problem was so we were stranded because for rent cars, oh, you all know you have to be like twenty one or twenty five yeah. or something. All of us are twenty. Also, every car place is sold out. Yeah. So we're literally <laughs> sold out. At sold out of cars. And Cliff's like, I can maybe find you a ride. I'm like, maybe. What are yeah. we gonna sleep in in my car? Also, in the shop? also, a thought that was going through our head was. Asking my brother who lives in Colorado to drive six hours here to come get us and then drive six hours back. But then the only issue would be, how do we get back to Fayetteville? I mean, so, we're helpless at this point. Literally don't know. But then... I'm like, I'm a walk. I mean, yeah. get this. Sweet Cliff comes back out to us sitting on our lawn chairs in the middle of the garage. And he says, hey, girls, guess what? And we're saying, what's up, Cliff? And he says, so one of the guys in the shop... <laughs> Cody um, is willing to stay late tonight and finish your car. Like all of it. Yeah, like we will drive. We will drive to a town. 
Selena, possibly Selena. Oh, Selena, it is Selena. <laughs> um, okay. Which is like, what, how many Pizza miles away? It's like 30 minutes It's like 30 minutes away. It's like 30 away. minutes away. Yeah. Um, to go pick up a part that Grace needs for her car, drive it all the way back, and then they're staying after closing to finish it for us tonight. And so Kayla starts hysterically sobbing. Like bawling like, my eyes out. I just am literally shook to my core. Grace is shook to her core. Um, like these people are absurd. And then it just keeps escalating one on top of another. And Grace's dad gets to the hotel room. And then we meet this girl named Sweet Emma, Emma, Emma Ray. Ray. Emma Ray. She's 19. She has lives in El- lived in Ellsworth her entire life. Um, she, she works, works at a nursing home. At a nursing home. She wants to be a nurse. And... Um, this girl, all of a sudden, Cliff is like, hey, my sweet friend, Emma Ray, who's Cliff's niece, um, is is willing to drive you guys, like, to your hotel, to go get dinner, whatever you guys need. Like, she's willing to be your ride for the night. And we are just even like... more. We're even just like, more. literally... Like, I am appalled at the kindness. <laughs> when I literally look at them and I said, this is, like, what we prayed for, and, like, yeah. the Lord is so good, and you guys are, like... You're, like, walking in the miracle that God's providing, and that is, like, so cool for us to, like, see and be able to receive and, like, get. I feel like I could cry again right Yeah, now. it's absurd. It, like, I'm not kidding. It was the most unreal thing. Like, literally everything that we have been praying for was just, like, the Lord just said, here you go, here you go, here you go. And not just, like, literally it's just the most unreal thing because over the past, like, few weeks, especially, like, I don't know, I can just say this personally in my life, like, I've seen the Lord, like, be so faithful, answer so many prayers, and not just answer mm-hmm. it with, like, answers and like just like what I've been asking for but has like absolutely exceeded everything and like has just like literally provided so abundantly that it's absurd and like that is what he did today it was just like Mm -hmm. provide beyond what is enough and it's just like such a beautiful example of like the Lord's grace and like that he just is continuing to pour upon us and it just it literally like Kayla was we were sobbing and so she has pictures she can send yeah, them to you. Um, I'm weeping mm-hmm. in the auto shop. Yeah. And these people are just staring at us like, what's happening? Like, y'all are and, crazy. Um, so Cody tells us that he's going to have our Grace's car done um, between 11 and 10 tonight. And that he's going to drive it to our hotel, drop it off to us. And then we're just going to drive him back to the body shop. And he'll go home from there. And so then we'll wake up in the morning, whatever, and drive us away to Colorado. Um, and so literally, just like absurd. But, so, we get with this girl, Emma Ray, and she's like, hey, I'm going to clean my car out for you guys, and then you all can hop in, and, like, we'll all go to dinner. I'll take you guys to dinner. And we were like, oh, my gosh. Okay. (laughs) So, she takes us to this Mexican restaurant, um, and we just, like, start asking her about her life. Um, To preface, before we start with Emma Ray, she, like, knew that we were believers. Um, We had, like, just been talking about how faithful the Lord has been and how, like, this is literally, like, these people are just answered prayers and, like, she is a same like, grace. Yeah, and she was like very aware of that. So we get with this girl, we start going to dinner, go to this Mexican restaurant, and we just start like asking her about her life and like asking her questions, kind of drilling her with questions, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I felt kind of bad, but also didn't at all. I was going psycho. Um and we we're like asking her about her family and just like literally getting to know her, like her ins and outs and she just like opens up to us with so many things like so many details about her family and her parents divorce and like divorce and like alcohol usage and, like, yeah all these, like, like yeah anxiety like all these things she like and, isn't wasn't close with her mom for like years and was like until now and like was telling us all about that and then she starts telling us about how she has really bad anxiety and how she like would abuse like drinking and smoking and how it led to depression and like literally just like dumping this on us and like answering our questions like without any reservations but then she tells us that like when she's explaining her anxiety she's like I have anxiety so bad she was like I hang out with two people and like that is it and she's like I don't hang out with anybody else she was like I don't even like when I'm with my two friends she was like if we like walk into anywhere she's like even this restaurant I like go to every day and she's like I never, like, in my life have ever, like, walked through the door first. She's like, I don't do that. And she did it today. Yeah, and she she was like, I don't know why I led you guys through the door. And then she just was like, all these, and, like, even just the fact that she, like, hung out with us and, like, was willing to take us to dinner and drive us around. And, like, we, like, sat at a booth, like, ate dinner for, like, 30 to 45 minutes. Like, it wasn't like, let's go grab Taco Bell. It was like, we're sitting down having a meal, like, facing her. Like, it was crazy. Yeah, and... It just, like, was the most insane thing in the entire world because, like, I don't know. I don't know if, like, the purpose of us being stranded in Ellsworth tonight was to, like, speak 
to Emma Ray, but if it was, then, like, praise the Lord for that, because that was, like, the coolest moment ever, and, like, we just have been talking about it. they can testify to this, but just, like, the coolest moment ever of, like, the Holy Spirit is at work within us, and, like, we may not have been able to, like, explicitly share the gospel with her. If we had more time, I am confident that, like, it would have, but, like, just the fact that we were able to, like, sit with her and love her and, like, get these things out of her, which she was, like, I don't talk about this. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know why I'm talking about this, and, like, just, like, know her deeply and, like, love her well was literally the coolest thing in the entire world. And I don't know. It just, it blew me away. And honestly, I can say, like, talking to her was so easy. It was so fun, too. Like, it yeah. was, like, I felt like she was one of, like, like one of us. Like, mm-hmm. she was just, like, a friend that yeah. we had known for forever, and it was super cool. And it was cool. I was telling them how, like, the Holy Spirit, like, allowed us to have things in common with her, mm-hmm. like, like the divorce stuff and like anxiety mm-hmm. like we all could like relate and be like oh my gosh like me too or just in like little aspects and that was cool too and she even said she was like I'm sorry I don't even know you guys like I don't know why I'm opening up to you yeah. or like I don't know why I'm like so comfortable around you guys and we were like it's the Holy Spirit the mm-hmm. Lord. and it was cool because we like got back to the hotel room and just like thanking God and then we were just talking about how like it's cool to recognize that like every good thing really does come from the Lord and so like because the Holy Spirit dwells in us, like, she was feeling peace, not because, like, yeah, we're peaceful people, but just because, like, the Holy Spirit dwells in us, and, like, that was so powerful to be, like, okay, like, I know that's true, I can, like, in, like, in our lives, too, like, we'll be able to look back on this and be, like, thank you, Jesus, for, like, allowing us to see ways that you're, like, not only moving yeah. in our lives, but in the lives around us, yeah. and it was just really cool, because I was, like, I was personally humbled of, like, this isn't me, yeah. this mm-hmm. is the Holy Spirit, and, like, God is so good to, like, give me the Holy Spirit. Like, I don't know. It's so cool. Yeah. It was the craziest thing ever, but moral of the story, or to wrap it up, we are here in our hotel room um, in Ellsworth, Kansas, um, literally just in awe, in awe of the Lord, um, and, like, what he's done in the ways he's, like, not just, like, provided for us, but, like, provided abundantly and, like, loved and just, like, poured his grace over us and protected us and, like, provided for us and, I mean, it just is unreal. Um, also, another crazy thing. Two days before this, the part of Kansas that we're in was completely flooded and underwater. And now it's, like, dry. So that's oh, pretty cool, too. And the thing that was wrong with my car was basically, like, the coolant thing cap blew off. And that's really dangerous because you can get, like, severe, severe burns. And the oh, lady yeah. in the car shop was telling me, she's like, I'm not really sure, like, how it didn't explode on you because that's, like it gets released and so she's like you're like very lucky and like god is so good because that was like his timing of like it exploded in the car before when you open the trunk yeah. and so like it didn't explode on you because you'd be like she was like you should have severe burns yeah and so she's like i don't know how that happened it doesn't happen like that but it did and i was like i literally said i looked at her i said praise god and she said praise god thank you jesus and i was like this is so cool we're yeah. in ellsworth kansas praising god with random strangers yeah. i like, mean it just was the. If that ain't the body of Christ, this has been the most unreal day. Of my it's life. only the first day of fall break, and I'm already shook, and I've cried two times. And we're going to Colorado tomorrow, and so thought, who knows we what's gonna happen? Our plans were better. We thought we had to be there tonight. This yeah. also just goes to show that God's timing is the only timing mm-hmm. that you should follow, not your own. Okay, so. peace and blessings. So that's our story. <laughs> Sure. It's 18 minutes long, no, so this sorry. One never hey, hit anyone. that like button if you want more. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Hey, um, click the subscribe button right here. Hey, hey also comment. comment your, favorite, your favorite Ellsworth memory. Comment down below if um you have had your car broken down before and you had to go to an auto shop. All right. Anya. 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 <laughs>